guys, welcome back. Before we get started, I have a quick announcement. I keep getting uh, messages and inboxes asking me when I'm gonna upload a video. If you go next to the subscribe button, you'll see there's a little bell. Click that bell. That is called the notification bell. And if you click it, you'll get notified as soon as I upload a video. So go and click that bell right now. Also, I decided that on any bottle that was requested, I'm not gonna force myself to make uh, what's been requested. What I'm gonna do instead is put all your requested bottles on the list. And if something inspires me and it jumps out to me, I will make that. You can't force creativity. That's what I've been trying to do and I'm realizing, I, I tell you guys not to do that. Just go with the flow. So if something inspires me, uh, something jumps out and I get a crazy idea for it, then I'll make it. I will keep all of it on the list, every single request on the list, so don't worry. Eventually, I'm sure I'll get to it. So without further ado, let's get to the video. Bye. Welcome back to DIY No Need to Cry with Ivelis. DIY Gypsy Style Bottle Upcycle Subscriber Request. I had a lot of fun making this one. Hope you enjoy. Let's get started. Using a pouncer brush and white matte acrylic paint, I coated the whole bottle and set that aside to dry. Once it's dry, I gave it a coat of gold metallic paint and let that dry. Using a brush and gold glitter glue, I coated the whole bottle and let that dry. I gave it about three coats, letting it dry between each one. When I'm creating, I don't know what the end piece will look like. I knew I wanted the gold to show in every spot that wasn't covered, so I covered the whole bottle. If you're going to recreate this look or know what spots will or won't show, then you don't have to paint the whole bottle. Now it's time to add the fabric. Measure and cut a piece that will go all the way around as shown here. I used a scarf for this bottle. I used Mod Podge and a brush to decoupage the fabric on. Notice that I'm doing it in sections so that the glue doesn't dry up by the time I get to it. Cut the excess off and give the whole thing one last coat of Mod Podge. Glue the bottom down as well. Place the bottle upside down to dry. Once it's dry, using an X-Acto knife, cut the excess fabric off the bottom as shown here. The middle wasn't completely dry and that's why you see that glue. Just clean it off if it happens to you. If you let it dry, it will peel right off. Take the rest of the fabric and cut strips out as shown here. I don't measure when I craft, I just eyeball things. But I would say about two and a half to three inches wide and about a foot long. Cut any hems or seams off the scarf. Fold in half and cut. These are the strips to create the skirt. Cut a few at first and then cut as you go so you don't waste any fabric. Now take the piece, grab it right in the middle and let it drop. This is how you will create the style of the skirt. 
Now hot glue each piece all the way around until the bottom is completely covered. If you find the pieces to be too long, trim them. Cut a wider piece of the fabric to use as the wrap around the skirt. Wrap it around the waist area as you see here. I used the wire to secure it and then wrapped a small piece of fabric over it to cover the wire. I took some chains, a jewelry charm, and spray painted them gold. Once they are dry, I glued a flat back glass gem to the middle. Alternating between two mm rhinestones in the colors pink, blue, and champagne, I glued them all the way around the glass gem. I did two rows. String some gold confetti with tiny brown beads and add them to the brooch. Add two more or as many as you'd like. Using a hot glue gun, glue the brooch onto the bottle as shown here. Add the chains by opening the links with needle nose pliers. Do this all the way up the wrap of the skirt. Taking a washable marker, mark where you will be placing the sequence. I do this so that it doesn't come out all wonky. Using Mod Podge, a brush, and loose sequence, glue them all around until you reach the top. And yes, this part is very time consuming. Do it in sections so that the glue doesn't dry out by the time you get to it. Once that's all dry, using 3mm rhinestones in the colors pink, blue, and champagne, a brush and Mod Podge, fill each one of the sequences. And this is the bottle all done. I hope you enjoyed this one because I know I sure did. You can make a custom cork for it, or, as you'll see, add fabric to the outline of the sequence, if you want. It's all up to you. See? I added fabric to this one. As always, you do what you want. I make these so that you can get ideas of what you can do with everyday crafting supplies. Be creative and don't stop trying. I love how these came out and it's so good to be back. 
Let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. And don't forget to thumbs up the video as it helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to thumbs it up. And if this is your first time watching, I hope you consider subscribing to get updates on future videos. And remember, do it yourself. There's no need to cry.